Whose is it? We know her? She follows us. It's so nice. I've had a conversation with her. I'm not even into fresh water and I can really... It's not That's fresh water. Oh, what am I saying? I thought it was fresh. It's pretty cool. She's in Toronto? In Toronto. Wow. Did she buy them from us? I don't know. But that's not what today's video is about. Today's video is about our new shipment of corals. Let's go shut this door. You guys know. I'm OCD. Um, new corals from Pamparaba, Indonesia. You want to do a video with me? Sure. She bought, I think she bought the from us. Nice. So, we got in a... <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? We got in a really cool shipment of wild corals. What does that mean, Tia? Tell them what wild means. Rawr! It, exactly, maricultured. These ones, not maricultured. Um, do you have a favorite from the shipment? This one. One second. Let me turn off the flow with my trusty Apex. With the push of a button, boom! It's gonna kill the flow throughout all the coral beds for 10 minutes. It turns up the lights, turns off the skimmers. Get an Apex. Dylan, do you have a favorite from the shipment? Dylan's on the way. Tia's favorite? Okay, two. Okay, it's between this one. It's not even open, this one. Wow. I know, I already love it. Bam! Encrusting Ghani Gani. Pora. Second one? Yeah, same. Almost. Encrusting Ghani. Encrusting Ghani Pora. Okay, the filly and the plate. Yeah, you know what? That's why I, I put them aside. I am, I'm gonna have Mom Dylan's wagon on this one. Yeah, they're nice. And it's cool because we never get acanthos that small. Like, you could literally put that nicely in your 15 gallon tank, yeah. Yeah. You're usually like this, enormous. Just stick your hand out, just for reference. You got a small hand, actually. Maybe that's not a good reference. Actually, mine's not that big either. But it's a big piece. They usually come like that. Very. Uh, this very... one's kind of on the large side, though. Uh, yeah, bigger than we normally get. I think it's yeah, going to swell like, up even more. It's going to be like this big. Yeah. I just it's Torches, incredible, Dylan. What were you just saying? The names of these ones? Because I can't keep up with the torch names. I'm not going to pretend to. What's this one right here? Trident Soul. I don't think so. This one? Trident no. Soul. Isn't that Holy Shit Nicks? No. no that's this is Holy Grail. I'm going to rename them. This is Holy Grail? <laughs> this one is New York this Nicks. This is Holy Grail? New York Nicks. This is New York. I New call York this Indoor Gold. No, the one with the green base is New York Nicks. The one without it is just oh, Indoor Gold. Oh, get out of here. They're so close. Really? Yeah. Those are two different torches? Yeah. What's this? Holy Grail. I'm, no. Yeah. And so then what's this? Dragon Soul. So this is Dragon Soul. This is Holy Grail? You're yes. different. I'm gonna, you don't see them? No, I'm gonna rename this one to Nucking Futs Torch. Nucking Futs. We're gonna supposed to curse. No it's not. I'm saying Nucking Nucking Futs. It's not swearing. It doesn't count. Um, I can't keep up with the torch names. There's too many. If you want to comment below and let us know what you think about those torch names, I'm over torch names. Yeah, there's too many, and there's too many variations. And I think they change. You know, if base it depends on who sells them. <laughs> Depends on the light. You know, if I take those torches and stick them under T5, I promise you they're going to get crazy, crazy color. They're going to get better than they look over here. Um, what else? What else can we this show? This is cool, but... Big. Huge. Yeah, yeah. so that's the and one. And still unhappy. Yeah, not, not as, not as this happy. This guy. This guy's incredible. No, I can't believe no one's taken the clownfish yet. Little branch and hide, hide the Yeah, hide the four. I think, is it called Excessa? Hide the four Excessa? No. No? He's going to check. We Dylan is our blast. Latin coral name expert. He's gonna go check. You have like orange in the middle. On the blastos? Little breadcrumbs in the tank. I think these are Blastomusa wellsi. Yeah, they do. They're nice. How nice is the black on the bottom? Really nice. Yeah. You guys yeah. seeing this? You see how clean? We keep our tank super clean here in the store. We just went through. She is laughing. <laughs> She's laughing because it's a little bit of a hack. They're not yeah. that clean. March. What he did is. Uh, I don't know why I'm talking in a third person. This is actually a piece of acrylic. So I went out and I got a sheet of acrylic to cover the core line. And then my plan is every, how long do you think it'll take to cover? Two weeks. Okay, it's January 15th. So we'll see, because we do a video a day and then we can see as it turns more purple. Doesn't it look so much better than this? Look at this, boom, boom. And it's very hard to clean the core line. Like it's really, really on there. Like remember we were trying with three razor blades. We're getting cuts. So we are literally cutting. Yeah, we were cut. It was it was uh was not working. So the plan was put down acrylic, let this go purple, and then boom, just flip it over, and then it'll keep going black. Why am I talking so much about acrylic? That is a, I think it's a pagoda. Okay. Yeah. Still Still and I were pagoda. Fighting about it earlier. Uh, I think it's Vegeta. This is Vegeta. Yeah. Hide the four Vegeta. Yeah. Or Vegeta, like from Dragon Ball. What is that sound? This today the same thing, no? Tubinaria pagoda. What what's the Latin name of this one, Dylan? Let's quiz La Dylan's Latin name knowledge. <laughs> I'm just, uh, it just worked out. <laughs> uh, 
Or Capte. Meow. Think meow. Just came off winter break. Captefilia. Jar. Jardine. Jardine. I think Jardine. It's hard the Latin names. How about this one right here? <laughs> no, I'm good. We'll just call them open brains. We got some very nice ones. Joffrey. Is it Joffrey or Jeffrey? Joffrey. Joffrey. <laughs> How about this Lobophilia? Just Lobophilia. No, usually they have two parts. Even these, we we often call them flower or Ghani, but they're like Ghani Boras Sabulata. Like there's different. It just looks like Ghani here. Just the first. Part. Just the first. Yeah. We say Ghani, but really in here there's like. Five or six different species. It's like the, the micro, the micro, the encrusting, the long tentacle, the gonies, the alves. Are any of them alves actually? I think. I don't think so. No. So I always. This is where I always get stuck. Is between alve and gani, and I don't know. Twenty-four. Hold on. Give me a marker. That's it. I'm not playing this game anymore. Hold on one second. I'm writing it down on the wall next to the magnesium. Are you certain that which one is which? Twelve is alve. Our landlord's game. 12 is, say it again. 12 is Alviopora. 12. 24 is Gonopora. I look at it like if there's too many for me to count, then it's Gani, and if I'm willing to count them, it's Oh, I like that. If you guys didn't hear what Tia just said, if there's too many for me to count, <laughs> it's Gani. If it's Gani. enough for me to count, it's Alvi. I will allow it because there's so few, but if it's Gani. That's Gani. Let's see. Sure. So what's what is this? Alvi. That's the same as that one. Is it? Yes. Alvi. Oh, I'm not willing this to is, count this it. This is Alvi. That's Alvi for sure. This is Alvi. And they're stubbier, right? Like they're, they're round. So I, that's where, I think where those are stubbier. I think I have a preference skinny. to Alvi. I, I definitely Yeah, I think I have a preference to... I think these are Alvis for sure. Yeah, they look more like flower-like. More daisy-like. What else? What else? It's not to get sidetracked. So you see guys... It's not just me that gets sidetracked. It's an infectious disease and the entire team. This is probably my favorite though. If I have to pick one, it's this one. Or if you watched the video last night that I was um, asking for your attention, this is just woo, crazy. Crazy, crazy piece. Guys, should we get rid of this clownfish? Because he's hosting and closing all Remember these. Remember you said whoever wants them can have them. Nobody wants to eat them. Nobody wants a free fish? We're offering a free fish. Oh, I almost threw this in the garbage last night, this little piece, by accident. So I was unbagging them, yeah. and this was stuck in the box, and I went and I just saw at the last second it was in there. So I almost tossed it out, and I was thinking, how can we give this away? Nice. Yeah, it was almost a garbage piece, but I don't know how to give away, to do a proper giveaway. How do we do it? Anyone have any ideas? Okay, we'll think about it, and then we'll give it away. What's the Latin name? Or, what's the Latin name? Someone's going to answer from the U.S. And sadly, we cannot ship these beautiful corals to the U.S. you got to be local. Come pick it up. We'll figure out a way. I want to give that piece away because it almost ended up in the garbage. Dragon Soul Torch looking very nice. This is pretty cool, actually. I didn't really give this any attention. You see this? Favia? Favites? Favites. Yeah. Is this not what they call sometimes Dayglo? Dayglo no, Volcano? Day Something Volcano? Day the the bottom. I thought that was Ultron. No, no, no. The tiny frag. That yeah. is Whirlpool, Whirlpool, is some eight cans, but I guess they're no longer can, called eight cans. Can we sidetrack back to these? Sidetrack back to these? Yeah. I like when Tia, I, I love when Tia says sidetrack. Why is nobody buying these? They're so nice. <laughs> Customers don't know what they're looking for. We call these marble medusas. Who cares about laughing? the name? <laughs> it's a good name. <laughs> <laughs> Just walked away from camera. Why are you laughing at me? Marble medusa. It's a great name. The medusa. That oh. Like so these, I was trying to show you last night, are the Christmas tree worm rocks. And look at those little blue ones that are sticking out. And they're nice size, they're not enormous. Sun corals are starting to open, but usually only at night, right? One more second. Yeah, the acros. The, the crab? Crab. I just shot a video the other day just on these. I wish I wish he was here. Could have put him in. I'm, That's I a big one. You can't focus on This is very nice. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I like it. This is Acropora, what? Penumus? Oh, 10 points. How about this one? Same. 10 points. Same. And this? Same. Home run. Different, though. I don't know this one. I don't know either. Hmm. Good point. That's, yeah, it's good. Actually, it's supposed to be a milli. Look at this. Crazy. They look nice. fake. I can't wait for all these to open. So keep in mind, guys, this is just day two. Not even. I was here until 4 or 5 a.m. It's now 5 p.m., so they've had about 12 hours in the tank. This what is 
What is that? A little tentacle? These look really nice too. All wall hammers, huge pieces. So, what I was trying to say at the beginning of the video, all wild corals, all wild har harvested, none of them cultured, except for maybe the Hydnophora. Yeah, so we're always trying to preach FCC and sustainability and growing corals and cultured and everything fun and dandy, and then yeah. my hypocritical ass yeah. goes and pulls all of these straight out of the ocean. Nothing sustainable about it. Um, why? Do you want to know why I did it? Because very hard to get corals right now. No flights. We're around three. What are we in? Comicron or something? Which one are we on? Deltacron. Somewhere between Delta and Omicron. Very difficult to get flights right now. Very difficult to get corals. So my supplier said, look, I have a flight. I can get you to Toronto. I have CITES for these wild corals. Would you like to use it? Absolutely. Let's get them over here. Um, do need to sell corals to keep the business open, but yeah. No, they have very, they have limited CITES for um, yeah for some wild stuff yeah, like if I show you the permits, this Blastomusa wellsi they have a quota so I, every year they can export a certain number and for that piece it's thirty thousand pieces out of the wild. Is that per head? Per colony per unit thirty thousand of them yeah, and so. Already on the CITES, it showed like four or five thousand have already been exported for the year. It's yeah. January. Well, they try and export them. It's almost like a budget because if they don't, then they're going to lose them for the next year. So they try and export as many as they're allotted. That's yeah. why we have to grow so that they. That's not. Well, I don't know if that's one that we could culture, that we could grow out and farm. No, but we can. That's like a personal tank. You grow that out. You, yeah. yeah. To enjoy it and grow it out for sure. But mm -hmm. I think to grow it out in order to cultivate and sell. No. no. I don't know. I don't think it would grow fast enough. And then you got to think of like, it's going to take up room in your tank. It's going to take up resources. It's going to take up, not like these though. Get you, know, you see, we have somebody locally that's actually beginning to grow these out, trade them back to us. These can actually be farmed. Yeah. That's the encrusting ones. The Ghanis, Alvis, yeah. What's this uh, on the side of that Ghani? I don't know. It's really cool. It is cool. It's almost like a short galaxia or something. Look, texture? I don't know. Yeah, Some orange branching froggies. Looks like frogs spawn over here. They're pink? Yeah. I'm also colorblind. Are they pink? They're 100% pink. I brown see orange. Pink. What do you see? Brown and pink. Dylan says brown and pink. I see orange. Tia says pink. You see orange? What do you guys see? Se second question of the day. How's it coming through on the camera? I think that's about it for the shipment. Anything else we missed? This is very rare. Red clay coral. That's stunning. Yeah. And the size of this. Thank you. Perfect. Yeah, very nice shipment. Very happy. Only one DOA out of the entire order. It's yeah, rock on. Couldn't be happier with um, with the corals, with the supplier. Still have some beautiful clams left. Starting to put some of them online. I think that's it for today's video. You guys know that I have a problem wrapping videos up, and I um, I never do it in a timely manner. That's because I never want to say goodbye. Because corals is what we do here at the Frag Box. This is a really nice tenuous. But if you like this video. Come back tomorrow because we will do this again. But it's not going to be like this. Maybe we're going to be talking about, hmm, what would we talk about? Anything, literally anything. I could be doing a product review on this very good coral food. Or maybe I'm tired of this light and we're going to swap it out. Or maybe we're going to set up a new tank. Or maybe we're going to give away a water box. Or maybe, you never know, every day, something new very unscripted we call it raw reefing thanks for watching this episode guys of fragbox tv i hope the audio worked i didn't even check yeah. we're going on like 14 minutes without any cuts i, yeah. I love when it's all in one shot like that makes makes yeah. my life easier in terms of editing have a good guy, uh, night guys wherever you're watching from or good morning or good afternoon bye bye